What's up guys, this is Iceman, bringing you episode number 15 of my Gears of War 3 rank commentary series. And in this commentary, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the new playlist called Alpha, which is what I'm playing right now. It's a 4v4 MLG variant playlist. And in this playlist, I believe the Sawed Off is a pickup weapon. So it brings back that old school MLG feel to it. There's a hammer burst, but it replaces the Boltock. And uh, new maps came out, Azura, Rust Lung, and Blood Drive. Blood Drive is a Gears of War 2 map that was brought back. And uh, the new maps are coming out for Thanksgiving. It's a versus booster map pack, which is going to have Bullet Marsh, Clock Tower, and the three maps that came out uh, November 1st, which is Azura, Rust Lung, and Blood Drive, like I said. Which I'm kind of pissed. Epic is never really up forward with what you're paying for you know I, I bought that season pass because I thought only the people that paid the thirty dollars would get access to the DLC but now I'm finding out that on uh, November they're releasing Azura blood drive and rust lung for free and actually releasing bullet marsh and clock tower for free too so the people that paid nothing are getting five free maps so it's almost like my thirty dollars was uh, exclusively just to buy the Onyx Guard, uh, Bernie, and the Big Rig Dizzy. Because, oh, and the new skins. So, exclusively, all the only thing that you got for the Season Pass, or the DLC, was basically the characters. Um, you got the characters and the maps early, basically. So, I'm kind of a little pissed off about that. So, hopefully, the, the future DLCs... Uh, actually hook up the people that actually spent their money I do really like this alpha playlist guys but I really do wish that they would bring back a classic playlist like where you spawn with only a Lancer or your choice of a hammer burst and you have to have Nasher that would be really cool like a good 5v5 classic Gal 1 playlist like this is pretty much a Gal 1 playlist as it is with the 4v4 but I like the 5v5 feature with these maps because these maps are a lot bigger than Gears of War 1 maps. Especially on Azura and uh, Sandbar, the maps are huge. I mean, even Hotel is pretty big for a Gears of War 3 map. Uh, it's definitely bigger than a lot of the Gal 1 maps. So I would like to see uh, the Gears of War 3 maps have a 5v5 once the classic playlist comes out, if, if they even do that. So um, that's one thing I would like to see happen, and just about an hour ago, Like Butter received a strike on his channel for a Halo Reach montage that it was posted over a year ago, and the video was even privated because it had a copyright strike, and he forgot about it, and today, actually about an hour and a half ago, he received an email from, or not an email, a message on YouTube where he couldn't even log into his account. It uh, made him take a quiz that a multiple choice quiz before he could even get into his account and uh, added a strike to his channel so and it actually deleted the video from his channel just right away he, he couldn't edit the video or anything it was just removed completely off his channel so I'm glad he gave me a heads up about that because it seems that UMG which is uh, I think Universal Music Group or something like that is cracking down hard and uh they're they're messing up a lot of people people's channels lately so uh, I went ahead and removed 19 montages on my channel all my old school Gears of War 1, Gears of War 1 montages that had over 200,000 views I removed uh, the It's Milk Bone and Always Trigger Happy 1v1s those all had over 100,000 views I'm gonna be uploading those montages on a uh, YouTube channel that doesn't have a partnership and as you can see right now, I'm fast forwarding because we were playing uh, on the Alpha playlist versus a clan, I believe. So we're playing really smart, and uh, I believe they told me to lay back and control Digger to keep them from maintaining power weapon. Oh, and also in the Alpha playlist, uh, the weapon respawn is about three minutes. It's definitely a lot longer, so it really makes you prioritize your shots and make sure that you don't waste your shots. So if you guys are going to be playing the alpha playlist, don't waste your ammo. If you pick up boom, make every shot count. 
because it's going to take a lot of time for that weapon to respawn because I literally sat there for a good two minutes waiting for that gun to come back because I thought it was the 30 second respawn and uh, I believe I go 13 and 3 this gameplay and I do really well and I'm, I was just hoping that uh, when I played this alpha playlist I was ooh that was a nice shot when I was playing this alpha playlist I was just really hoping that uh, it would have been 5v5 but MLG rules is 4v4 I didn't really know it was an MLG playlist until Drew told me and uh, Drew is like butter if you guys don't know and uh, I hope they do that classic playlist like I said like Lancer only either Lancer or Hammer Burst and a Nasher and it's a 5v5 with regular weapon pickups I mean they could go ahead and make the sawed off a pickup weapon or a power weapon if they wanted but I would prefer just to leave it out of the playlist I hope they do that I really do and I also want to say, um, I've been getting messages lately, uh, some, some little 12 year old sent me a message saying, uh, if I could please, please, um, mention scamming in one of my commentaries, so, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it, a lot of people have been getting scammed from Mechanic Baird and Savage Canis' codes, uh, Savage Canis', uh, Savage Canis codes, and, um, I just feel bad. The kid said he saved up his money for a full week or two weeks maybe and he got scammed twice. So you guys can't be naive out here. Um, you got to be on your toes. People are rude. People are bad people and they're going to take advantage of you if they see that you're willing to give up a code. I see comment after comment on my videos saying, I will trade Mechanic Baird for Savage Canis, no scammers. I mean, that's clearly a scammer. I mean, I've seen the same uh, copy and pasted message on about four or five of my videos. And, you know, I'm starting to block people that are doing that because they're clearly scammers. Um, you know, maybe some of them aren't, but guys, it's really risking a lot. These Savage Canis codes are going for 30 to $40 on eBay, and I got my hands on one. Luckily, a fan hooked me up, and um, I'm grateful for that. So you guys got to be careful. Not everybody is uh, as nice as they say they are out there. So stay on your toes and definitely be aware of the scammers out there. Like I said, not everybody is as pleasant and nice as they make themselves out to be. And uh, for all you guys that loved my Gears of War 1 montages back in the day, I will make a uh, standard YouTube channel that it does not have a partnership so there's no risk because I have way too much to lose I've been doing this YouTube thing since 2007 and if I got my channel deleted over some montage that I made in 08 I would fucking freak out but uh I just put up a silverback tutorial if you guys didn't know in on the map Rustlung on the new DLC you can actually climb into a silverback which is one of those things that you can get into kinda looks like an Iron Man suit but uh, yeah check out that video and uh, peace out guys